Today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. What's up, back amigos? I'm David, and today I wanted to talk about a topic that has been asked a lot over the years, which is how I write music, especially for the Oak Arena, and I wanted to give you a few tips on how you can get started yourself. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know whenever I post a new music video, tutorial, or review. I really appreciate that. And as already mentioned, today's video is brought to you by Patreon, where I'm doing a special offer this month for anyone who joins in at the Performer $20 level. If you join by September 1st, you'll be receiving a very special gift in the mail. A little bit more about that at the end of the the video, but you'll find a ton of other monthly benefits, including all of my sheet music, backtracks, and MP3s to every single one of my videos, behind the scenes clips, additional tutorials, and more. So to find out how you can join us on Patreon, visit the link in the description or go to patreon.com slash drs4. Now composing has a very special place in my heart. I've been writing music uh, since I was a teenager. If you enjoy playing music with the Oak Arena or whatever instrument you have, it's a great way for self-expression and to kind of uh, put your own style and spin into a musical work. And to get started, it doesn't require a lot of musical training or background. You can literally just pick up your Oak Arena and start writing your own music. It's that simple. But I realize it can be pretty daunting at first, kind of like taking a pen or paintbrush to a blank canvas. So I want to give you a few tips to get started with a big shout out to Joseph over at Creative Piano Academy. Uh, I actually got a lot of these tips from his video, but it's geared more towards piano and I wanted to kind of fine tune it for the Oak Arena. So definitely go check out his video. It's going to be linked in the description as well as in the little eye which I think is over here, it could be over here. Now I'm well aware that a good number of you who watch my videos also own an Oak Arena, and most of you wanna just play a couple of your favorite tunes, which is perfectly fine. Personally, I'm kinda of sad that there's not a lot of music written specifically for the Oak Arena. It's such an incredible instrument, as you well know, and so one of my goals for this channel and for my music career is to put out as much original music for the instrument as possible. First of all, for creative expression, but second of all, to show people what the instrument is capable of. So why should you write your own music? Well, as I already mentioned, it's a great way to express yourself creatively and everybody has their own unique style their own unique taste in music so whatever you come up with is going to be uniquely you and you're going to be adding more original music to the ocarina repertoire so tip number one you have to familiarize yourself with the pitches of your ocarina now i realize everybody's ocarina is going to be a little bit different yours might be in a different key it might even have a different scale but most of you watching this channel are probably going to be playing an ocarina that's tuned to the western major scale. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to be using the pitches of the C major scale, which are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Basically all the white notes on a piano, which sound like this. Now, whether you have a 12 hole, a 10 hole, or four hole, or six hole, we're only gonna be using those first eight notes of the scale. So if your ocarina came with a fingering chart, or if you have access to a piano, you can figure out what those pitches are. Now, technically, you don't have to worry about memorizing those pitches right now, though at some point, it would be really good. And if you'd like to have a better grasp on why we use those tones in the major scale or any music theory stuff, I have a series called How to Play Ocarina, which is available for free here on YouTube. I'll also link that in the description as well. It's pretty short, and it's fast, and it's easy. So once you familiarize yourself with those eight notes then we can start experimenting and the easiest way to start composing is by having some underlying chords with the guitar with the ukulele with the piano and since I can't play two instruments at once I recorded a guitar loop and these are the four chords C G a minor F These might sound pretty familiar because they're used in 95% of pop music today, so it's gonna be pretty easy for us to throw a melody on top of this. And if you support me on Patreon on any level, I'm gonna be giving you this backtrack for free. So there's a link to that download in the description below. But basically all we're gonna do is we're just going to experiment. We're gonna play any notes we want in any sequence within those eight notes of the major scale.
Now, none of that was already written. I just kind of came up with that on the fly, which is part of the beauty of experimenting. You have no limits. I want you to just try to figure out what sounds good to you, which is gonna sound different to everybody because we all have different musical tastes. But try a lot of different things. You'll be able to tell the things that sound good versus the things that sound bad. So let's try it again. I'll try to sound bad. But the thing is that you don't want to be discouraged by anything that does sound bad. You just kind of want to brush it aside and latch onto the things that sound good. Even try and repeat some of those things that sound good. And I know that's a lot to digest for somebody who's just getting started with composing. So to make things a little bit easier, we can actually limit the amount of notes that we use. In fact, you can even just use one note and experiment with the rhythms a little bit. I'm going to try coming up with a melody on just C, that first note at the bottom. We can even add in some of the sub holes, so add in that low B with the first sub hole. And then when you're feeling a little bit more comfortable, just kind of coming up with different patterns, then maybe you can just expand to all the notes of the right hand, that's C, D, E, F, and G. Now something that comes with experience is the crafting portion, where it's great to get a lot of these ideas out in the open, especially if you can have it recorded and listen back to it again. But then you start sifting away those things that don't sound so great, and you start latching onto those segments, those little portions that you played that sound awesome, and maybe you can turn into a repeated part. Because often in composing, you come up with themes these little phrases of music that end up sticking in people's heads for a really long time, and that often comes from repeating that theme over and over again. So let me try to come up with a theme really quickly and uh, see how catchy it is. So that's basically all you need to get started. So just to recap, one, try to familiarize yourself with the pitches of your ocarina, especially that eight tone major scale. Tip two, don't be afraid to experiment. This is just for developing your ear in your own personal style. So try a bunch of different things. Try to record it or notate it if you can so you can come back and pick out your favorite parts. Limit yourself to a set amount of notes, one notes, two notes, five notes, and see what you can come up with with your creativity just using those notes. And then once you find a section that you like, try repeating it a couple times to see if it sticks as its own little theme in a melody. 
There's so much more that goes into composing and songwriting, but a lot of it comes with practice and experience. So just keep experimenting and putting your stuff out there as much as you can. And if you need that little bump of encouragement, this month I'm gonna be doing a special offer for everyone who joins at the performer level on my Patreon pages. I'm gonna be sending you an original composition so we can work on a song together. So basically after you sign up for the $20 a month pledge, I'm going to contact you, ask you for three words that you want your personal composition to be about. I'll send you two bars of original music along with a simple recording so that you can hear it. And then I want you to take these two bars of music after listening, after reading it, and then try to come up with your own two bars to latch onto it. And then we can come up with a little four bar song or eight bars, however many bars you wanna to add to it to come up with a complete new composition that we can write together or that you can write on your own. You don't have to use this at all. This can just be a little memento. So if you wanna be sure to get your own personal little composition from me, be sure to sign up for my Patreon by September 1st and get a whole bunch of other benefits and including mp3s, backtracks, sheet music, behind the scenes, additional tutorials, and more. And once again, if you're new to the channel, I'm working on new Ocarina videos all the time, tutorials, reviews, and music videos, so don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you compose something yourself, I would love to check it out on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Be sure to send it to me however you can. And until that next video, I hope you guys have an amazing week and a fun time practicing. I'll see you then.